Hey YouTube, this is your boy DWall316. I'm going to talk about the Cowboys Bengals rant into this about the pregame of this. Cowboys got a tough one against these uh, next two games they got against Cincy first. So we're going to focus on the Bengals first. And the Bengals, they a good team. Regardless of their record being at 2-2. Two and two, And regardless of the only thing I know the Bengals, the only thing they are good for is choking in the playoffs. But that's another story. But this is going to be a tough one for Dak and company. Him, Elliott, and everybody. It's going to be very, very tough. Bengals got a good defense. And they can put the pressure because Marvin Lewis is a good coach. There's a reason why the Cincinnati the Bengals have kept him this long. They got a good defense. Offensive-wise, they're good with Giovanni Bernard and A.J. Green. Their tight end, you don't know if he's going to play this Sunday or not. Tyler Eifert, because he's recovered from an ankle injury and facing a setback with his back right now. So it's... This is going to be a tough one. Thing of the matter is, we got to put pressure on Dalton. Because if we don't, Dalton can have all the time in the world. He can look like a Hall of Famer boomer size him when throwing the ball. So we got to get pressure on him. We get D. Lawrence back. I hope he can get some sacks. Him, Crawford, Terrell McClain. Also, we got to put a lot of pressure with our secondary. With I'm hoping to God that Mo Claiborne doesn't become a one-hit wonder after his game against the Niners just on Sunday. I'm hoping he can keep that same intensity and that same focus up. Him, Brandon Carr, um, we get Skandrick back for this one. Also, we could get Byron Jones putting some pressure on there too. So I want this entire secondary to try to put pressure on those receivers. I want to get a pass rush to get sacks on Dalton. Now for us, in order us for the win, keep the same formula we're going with. Run the ball with Elliott, run it with Alfred Morris, and also Dunbar. Throw some more passes out there. Give it to um, T. Will, Bryce Butler, maybe Des Bryant if he's available for this game. But my opinion, I hope Des Bryant just stays on the bench again for a little bit so he can heal up and be at 100% so we can have him for the Packers game or after the bye. But this is going to be a very, very tough game here. I think we're going to win it close, probably by a last-minute touchdown, a field goal, depending who our kicker is going to be, because it might be Jeff Heath, because what I'm hearing is he can kick it, I think, more than like 40 yards. But if not, we are looking at kickers right now, looking at Robbie Gould, Kai Forbath, um, some guy named Rosas. I can't know what his first name is. But that's if Bailey is not available for Sunday. Um, we don't know yet. But we can try to pull but we can pull this victory off. Go four and one. Then next week we'd have a tough one against the Packers. And then if we go five and one, then the next thing we're gonna be talking about most some of us Cowboys flanks, I know there are some who are split and there's others who want Dak Prescott. I'm one of the others who want Dak Prescott to start fully because the man's winning and why mess up success and why if you put Romo back in He's just going to get injured again, and he's just going to break our hearts again like he had in the past. Because what all Romo has ever done for us is, yeah, he's gotten us two division titles. Yeah, he's won two playoff games in the wild card. But every time he gets to the second round, he just messes up. It's just, what's the point? It's time for a new era and it's time for a new day. I'm on board on the Dak Prescott train, and I think he can ride this train as much as he can take it to. Because right now, I have no single faults with this man. So, all I got to say is, go Cowboys. Let's get this victory to Sunday. And then next week, worry about the Green Bay Packers. All I got to say is, go Cowboys. It's up to D-Walk 316. That's all.